It sends a strong message to Chinese vessels illegally fishing in Korean waters. Korea's Coast Guard conducted a maritime firearm drills off its western coast today in the wake of the latest sinking episode of a patrol boat while chasing Chinese fishing boats illegally operating in its waters. Now, within hours, China's state run newspaper ran a piece vowing retaliation in case Seoul opened fire on its boats. And increasingly thorny relations between Seoul and Beijing? Our Kim Jong Su has the latest. The Incheon Coast Guard held a special firearms drill Wednesday afternoon in Korea's West Sea to train officers in their new authority to use firepower to stop illegal Chinese fishing boats. After an incident last Friday in which a Chinese fishing vessel rammed and sank a Coast Guard boat and then fled the scene, the government said the Coast Guard would be allowed to use firearms such as onboard cannons and handguns. Thursday's drill simulated altercations between the Coast Guard and poachers resisting arrest. A total of six vessels were deployed carrying 130 personnel, with each vessel testing an arsenal of naval cannons, Gatling guns, and M60 machine guns. And on the same day as Korea's maritime drill, a Chinese state-run newspaper, the Global Times, claimed that if Korea used naval cannons on Chinese vessels, it could result in direct retaliation. The paper went on to analyze the various weapons the Korean Coast Guard has in its arsenal, including a water cannon that can cause serious bodily harm, as well as the 20 and 40 millimeter naval cannons. It also emphasized that China is armed with state-of-the-art naval technology and weaponry. The paper did, however, clarify that it's highly unlikely a situation would ever escalate to the point of the Korean Coast Guard actually using the naval cannons, saying most conflict situations will likely be resolved through diplomatic talks. According to Korea's fisheries ministry, since Tuesday, six Chinese vessels have been captured operating in Korean waters, two off the coast of Shinan County in Jeollanamdo province, two near Baekneungdo Island and another two near Jeju-do Island. Officials say that over the last five years, more than 280,000 Chinese vessels have trespassed into Korean waters, but only 200 have been caught. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.